when he recruits guys, he kind of talks to you guys about you know, staying away from agents or runners or, or negative people. Do you remember him having a conversation with you when he recruited you and kind of the, the details of that conversation? Yeah, um, they did a good job of just uh, letting us know the people that who try to hang around the program that are just trying to get attached to one of us and um, and try to get in here and try to influence our lives. So they do a good job of that and just um, making sure that we're uh, we're just staying away from those people and because they're doing anything to try to get attached to you to make them some money. So they do a great job of just, just trying to help us out, letting us know that you know we need to stay away from them. And if we do have somebody, just email them and send them the names and let them know who it is. Do they give you names, like a list of guys, like you know, this guy might be shady, that guy? No, nah, they don't. They just tell us if they know of somebody. But we, I mean, they do a good job of just making sure they're keeping people away from the program. But um, I mean, like I said, they do a great job of just letting us know that if we do um, have somebody, uh, just don't talk to them. Or, you know, if they feel like they're harassing you, just give them to the coaches and they'll, they'll take care of you. Over the years, have you encountered that at all? Like, um, trying to get at you in different ways? Or, or I haven't. I mean, I, and if they did, I just don't reply. And I just leave it at that. So. Does it make you extra cautious if somebody just walks up to you and just becomes overly friendly and trying to introduce themselves to you or something like that? Um, and see, that's the thing about, you know, that's what's so hard about us is that, you know, when we go out in the public, we don't have any any safety around us, and um, we don't know, you know, necessarily what's the person's intentions that are coming up to you. And that's what's so hard about being a well-known athlete around well, whatever town you're in, because people will come up to you and they'll try to, you know, do whatever they, do whatever they want to do, and you really don't know, you know, what their intentions are. So it's tough for us because you know it's some fans who come up to us and just. Are being fans, and there's some people who you just don't know what they're trying to do. So it, it's tough trying to distinguish between a fan and somebody that's trying to get attached to you. So, from a basketball standpoint, if you were to start a checklist of what you guys need to do to be successful tomorrow night, how far down do you have to go for offensive rebounding to pick up? Um, you probably got to go down quite a bit. Um, it's something that we that we, well, coach wants us to do, and um. I don't think we've been doing a good job of it, but um, it's just guys wanting to get to the boards and um, for us to be a successful team, that's what we have to start doing. But I honestly think our biggest thing is just trying to um, play better defense. So. How, are they different now than they were? I know that they played a few games without Bagley, but with him in the lineup, are they different than they were when you guys played a few weeks ago? Mm -hmm. I mean, he was in the lineup when we played them. So um, the biggest thing is just trying to keep them off the boards and trying to make it uh, hard for, for them in the post. If they get the ball on the block, I mean, it's hard to guard them because they, they're they very explosive, they're long guys. And so um, we just got to try to do our best to try to get around and make it tough for them. But um, I mean, Bagley was playing the last time and, um, and we made it pretty tough for him. So I think we can do that again. Um, that'll be something that uh, that's, that's, that'll be good for us. What about their zone? Do you recall how much zone they played against you guys the first game? And, and if so, how, what, do you, what do you recall from that? Yeah, I think they played more man-to-man -man than was uh, switching the screen on ball. Um, I don't think they – I think they played a couple of possessions of zone in the first half, but I don't remember in the second half going against their zone. I think they went strictly man-to-man. -man, so. so does that make it – a little more challenging because they're going to play a lot of zone tomorrow night. That's what they've been doing the last few weeks. Uh, yeah, but I think that plays into our hands because when you're playing the zone, it's hard to box out people. So um, that's why we need to make sure that we're going to the boards because, I mean, I know they're athletic and um, they're long down there on the bottom three. But, um, you know, when you have somebody that's running in, uh, without a without a body on them, you know, it's easier to get an offensive rebound. So we need to make sure that uh, with them playing the zone, we need to get to the boards. But both teams coming off of losses and, you know, standings are can go any way right now. Is there an added sense of pressure or urgency for you guys? Uh, yeah, I think so. I mean, I mean, we know right now that we um, – aren't going to win the regular – well, we haven't won the regular season. And, um, you know, we're just trying to play as best as we can right now and just get better as a team. Um, we want to win the, the ACC uh, tournament and, and get a better seed. 
But right now, um, honestly, if we just focus on just trying to get better as a team and worry about ourselves, you know, all that stuff, uh, uh, it'll, it'll play out on its own. Does a win over Duke, especially at Cameron, mean more to you than maybe a win over another team? Yeah, I think so. I mean, it's always a great way to end off the season. Um, I know how much fun we've had when we went over there and got a uh, got a win. So um, I think it's just, you know, being being the last game of the regular season and um, it being over there with us uh, winning the first time, I think that it's, uh, it's going to be a great game. But always going over there and getting a win is, is something pretty good. Your last time.